Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I am bringing the much requested review of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint Foundation. It's new, it's kind of expensive. <laughs> So I don't blame you guys for wanting me to talk about it first. Also, Neutrogena has come out with some new hydrating skincare products, which I did not partake. They have hyaluronic acid in them, which is great, and some of them look awesome. I have my hyaluronic acid products already with my The Ordinary and my Hylamide, so I kind of skipped. You know, I'm looking to save a buck too. Um, but they do have a concealer and they do have a lip gloss um, and they also had a lip balm which was in like um, you know a pot although it was like a pan there, there you go um, which I'm not a fan of I like things in a stick I like to be able to, or a tube, I like to be able to put things on without sticking my finger in them. And I also want to say that I am going to try to give you information that is helpful for you to come up with your own conclusion. Because I can say, I didn't like this, and then I can tell you why, but maybe the reasons that I don't like something are reasons that someone else might like something. Does that make sense? I mean, we're all different here. so. Everybody has different preferences. So, this is what it's called, and this is the container it comes in. Well, I mean, duh, that is the container it comes in, but it doesn't come in a box or, you know, it doesn't have like a, a bubble package um, thing. Now, there's pros and cons to this. I love that it's in a glass container. I love that you are not required to use your hands, you know, like the whole thing, but some people do not like the giant wand applicator. This is definitely a um, copy of the Clinique idea, which I am not to say that's a bad thing. I think it's kind of brilliant. Um, if we put concealer on our face like that, why not foundation? So I think it's funny how some people are like, well then I'm putting it all over my face and then I put it back in the jar. <laughs> yeah, you do that with concealer and lip gloss too. Yeah. Anyhow, so it comes with the ginormous wand, which I like, I, I do. Um, I probably would prefer a pump, but I think this is better than nothing. So everything is supposed to be like hydration for 24 hours, um, all that good stuff. So you're probably thinking, well, if I'm oily, then I probably don't want to use this. Um, it is an oil-free product. so. If, uh, if you're okay with, um, you could be breaking out or you could have shine and yet you still kind of want that moisturized, dewy look, so this might be a good choice for you. It does not mention uh, sunscreen and it does not even have titanium dioxide in one of its, um, that is the second to last ingredient. So it does have titanium dioxide which can act as a natural sunblock, physical sunblock, but it doesn't have an SPF or talk about sunscreen, so don't rely on this for your sunblock. Okay, I purchased uh, Nude 40, which I will say the shade ranges run very light. So this is probably about the fourth one in. Um, when I looked at the lightest and the second lightest, I was like, no way, those look so pale. So yay for pale skins! Not so great for darker complexions. They do have a dark shade. They have like a, a deep tan bronze shade. It's probably not going to cover dark skins. There you go. Um, the coverage, see that shade? It does look a little bit more tan on me, but I swear to you, it's a match. I'm wearing it today. It's a good match. Here, the blendability of this, it comes across very lightweight, very sort of blends right into the skin. Um, it just gives a nice slip on top. You know, you can feel it's not dry, it's not powdery, it's not matte, it's not dewy, kind of gooey, it's not shiny, it's, it's none of that. It's a very sort of neutral foundation. It, it, it really just kind of, you know, is right in the middle. 
Um, I've worn this a few times. It is very light coverage in my opinion. I have issues with my skin. I'm covering redness. I'm covering discoloration. This did not do it for me in one coat. So I applied it with both a beauty blender. I applied it both with uh, Artis and a dupe uh, makeup sponge. And I found that the best application method for me is a beauty blender, do a coat, wait a minute, and then do another coat. You guys are probably wondering why am I not demonstrating this for you? Well, I sort of exaggerate. I'm not wearing the product completely because this broke me out. Both times I wore it, uh, well, I guess three times that I wore it, uh, I just, I got my rosacea bumps. And I don't, it's so hard sometimes to know for me what exactly is breaking me out. So when I try a new product, I try to not use anything else that's new on my skin. So I'm not gonna like use a mask and you know, then try a new foundation because uh, things can go haywire. So depending on one of the ingredients in here, whether it's one of the magnesium, aluminum, you know, there is a lot of, there are no botanical ingredients that I can tell. There's a lot of dimethicone, mica, dimethicone vinyl, cross polymer, magnesium sulfate, uh, aluminum, dimis, dimers estate, um, lots of ingredients. Um, so maybe my skin just doesn't like one of those. Um, okay, so very sheer coverage broke me out. <laughs> so like I said, I am not a fan of this personally. Um, it is $17.50 at CVS and I thought that was so crazy expensive, at least it's $17.50 in my CVS. I'm sure places, um, maybe you can find it cheaper on Amazon, maybe it's going to be cheaper at Rite Aid, I don't know. Um, but I was like, whoa, I had a 30% off coupon, so yay, but damn, Neutrogena, what are you doing? Like, this is still a drugstore foundation. I don't feel like it surpasses L'Oreal Pro Glow, the L'Oreal Full Cover, or the new Almay foundation they came out with over the summer, not the self-tan one, the other one, um, or e.l.f. I'll reach for my e.l.f foundation before I reach for this. But let me say, if you have tried this and you love it, then yes, I am so happy for you. I wanted this to work so bad because it has such a nice finish on the skin. It feels so good. It is lightweight. It's natural looking. If you have dry skin, this will feel so good on your face. So there's so many things about it that I want to embrace and keep wearing, but it keeps breaking me out. So I'm just like, oh, fine. So let me also go over the Hydro um, Boost Hydrating Concealer. This also has hyaluronic acid. I am wearing this. I got the shade Light 2-0. I really like this. This has one of those like cores in the center and it goes on, I'm going to use a different hand. It goes on, I would say, with medium coverage, and that's actually looks dark on the back of my hand, but it's quite light. It really does go on light. Um, it blends out nicely. It fills in the lines. It kind of blurs. It. Um, so I didn't use any corrector. I didn't use any any other sort of help underneath here. This, it's just this. So I think that's pretty good. Um, I may, you know, if I had worse circles, if I looked more tired or m miserable, I would probably have to use a corrector along with this. So keep that in mind based on how much uh, product you're, you're used to using. Um, it definitely has less coverage than, you know, a heavy duty concealer like the Tarte or the Kat Von D but um, it goes on pretty nice, maybe kind of like the Too Faced because the Too Faced has hyaluronic acid and so does this. Um, so I, I thought it worked great, I really did. 
um, for an under eye concealer. I liked it. And I just set it with a little bit of RCMA powder. I didn't bake, I didn't go crazy, anything like that. Um, and I believe this is 1050. So I think this is a pretty reasonable purchase. And especially if you have a coupon um, or Neutrogena makeup is on sale at one of your drugstores, then yay. I only picked up one shade in this and I got the pink sorbet in 4-0. I am wearing this along with my Spice Milani lip pencil. This is one of those shades where it's so light that when I wear it, it just kind of goes, what? It's like nothing. Um, it is a very pretty pink. You can see. But it's just, you know, it's just like, it's just a gloss. It's just your straightforward gloss. If you want to wear like a nude lip and then put this on over it, great. I'm not feeling glosses right now. I'm still kind of in my liquid lip mode or my sort of soft matte velvety lip mode. Um, so I'm not feeling this yet, but I think in spring it will feel so good. Um, and it is hydrating. My only drawback, um, Okay, do you see this like paddle doe foot thing that they've got on here? Which, um, by the way, that's the reason it looks dark is because of my lip liner. Um, when you go to stick it back in, it doesn't fit. It's like they made it too big. Um, let's do that again. Oh, see? You could easily bend it. So anyway, I'm like, Neutrogena, what were you doing? I love the big paddle when you put it on your lips, but my gosh, it's doesn't fit in your tube. Um, so yeah, so it's it's pretty. If you're looking for a new lip gloss and you want just something basic, something sheer, uh, that moisturizes, it's nice. It really is. And I think these are 1050 as well. And they have a shade, they have a range of shades. So it's, it's pretty. So I wanted to show you the new Neutrogena and let me know what you think. And like I said, if you are loving the foundation, yay, you keep using it. And if you were on the fence and you weren't sure whether or not to get it, I say skip it if you have skin like me. If you don't like the feeling of those, you know, a hydrating product and you prefer a matte or you want more coverage, then skip it. But if you're looking for a really natural, medium sheer finish foundation i say go for it and get a coupon get a coupon <laughs> all right everyone thank you so much for watching and i hope you've subscribed to my channel and i will see you next time bye